before we start the review, don't forget to subscribe on my channel and don't forget to come all the way up here to this little bell thing so you will know when a new review comes along. Let's continue. What's up everyone, Astrid Burn here, Coming 101, going to do another review. I'm um, still working on a DVD Season 3 1990s um, thing, because it's going to take a long while, because everyone wants it all together, not just Part 1, Part 2, Part 3, and so on. So, um, funny story about this one. So, I remember how I was showing everyone the stuff I got from the thrift store, and stuff I got from the flea market? Well, I came across this guy right here. I was like, oh, okay, another one. Okay, so I'm going to buy this one. And I got it for, I think, it's like a dollar, I think. I can't remember. So I was like, all right, because I already have this one. Because <clears throat> I got this one, right? And I have it sealed up. Not sealed, but protected. So I thought, because people were requesting for, like, can you make your own costume stuff out of toys? Like, repaint it, do your own version and everything. I was looking at it, I was like, you know what, I probably could make one, I'll do one, yeah, there's no problem, and I was like, you know what, alright, cool, I'm just gonna repaint it, and I noticed the eyes were a little bit different, so I was like, wait a minute, so I grabbed the other one, and I'm realizing there are two different ones, these, this one's painted differently, this one has a little more f different feel to it, so I was like, oh shoot, I got a bootleg, right, so I'm looking at the 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 pins and everything and his legs and everything and I'm realizing this is not a bootleg and then I start looking at it again and I'm noticing dude this is a part two one it's Secret of the Ooze version remember they have that we could take off the head and have two more heads or a diff well three more heads or a different the other one you get something from the Secret of the Ooze version this is what this is and I found it no I didn't and by the way I did not do that permanent marker thing Ah, people. So, I was like, crap, I wanted to paint them, but it's rare now because you don't see them anywhere. I have a Donatello and I have a Raphael still in his package. I will do those later on down the line, but since I, since I saw this, we could do comparison. When was the last time I actually did comparison, you know? So, we're going to do this one, and you're going to really trip this up because I never noticed the skin looks different compared to the... The 1990 version of the Playmates version. Jeez, what was that? Sounds like a gunshot just went off. Whoa. I don't know if you guys heard that on the camera. Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and do this. But like I said, I found this at the flea market. No, I did not color it in like that. I don't know what they were thinking. But... Uh, that's on his knees too, but we're going to show you the differences, okay? So uh, hopefully you'll like this review, and like I said, keep your eyes open for the more of the DVDs series because I got a lot of requests of me doing my point of view on the DVD series, like the new one, the old one, 2003, and so on. So since the people are liking it, I'm going to continue making more DVDs reviews. Cool. Alright, that is it. Until then. Wait, what am I doing? I am tired. So anyways, let's get on with the review. <laughs> Alright, here he is. I was like, I couldn't believe I found one. I'm like, oh cool, you know. I thought I'd maybe just get like a whole bunch of the original ones. I like doing stuff like that. But then again, I was gonna like I said I was gonna cut her a man. But yeah, okay, so the pins are like right here. If they're bootleg version, these pins would be sticking out like crazy, like popping out of the arms, especially the leg ones. Some of them actually don't have um, ankles, the bootleg ones, and not only that, some they definitely don't have their serial code right there. That's how you know it's real. And like I said, the ankles are, they don't have bendable ankles, and these, like I said, these things would be popping out like crazy. Not only that, it actually has playmates names on it because when you do a bootleg, they they like to cover these up because they won't get sued. 2016, and the weird part is, it's like okay, something looks different. 
So, and luckily it has at least one nunchucks. You usually don't find them with their weapons at the flea market. So, I'll put that right there. It's windy like crazy outside. And then you got this version, the original version, and these were a big hit. Now, with the Secret Ooze, I don't know if it came with this one, but you can see in 1990, Movie Mikey, and for the bootleg version, when they sell these ones, as you can see how it looks like, you can see the paint job, the little smudge and everything in the background. Look at 2012 Viacon. Made in Hong Kong. And it has a serial number. Yeah, it, so there's a reason why they paint these things differently because you can't really mock it too well. But the bootleg version, these are blue. Like, seriously, like, like kind of like a... Maybe like a navy kind of bluish color on, this, on these things. So when you're online, you're trying to buy these online, and you notice the paint job looks kind of bluish kind of color, it's a bootleg, and they're fooling you. So, let me move this out of the way. Alright. First things first, I don't know if you guys can tell the differences. The skin color. Look how dark his skin color looks. It's like a darker greenish color. And then you got over here who's like a lighter green skin. Same face, as you can see. And like I said with the eyes... His eyes are a little bit more closed. I mean, like, 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 up here on the upper, upper corner. See the eyes and everything? And over here, the eyes are more wider. Compared to these. The headband is actually sticks out a lot more in the back. And then over here, it just flops down. The chest color of the shell is like a darker brown. And this one has more of a lighter color, too. Can't believe they actually did that to him. Poor guy. The belt, mm, it kind of looks the same to me. Well, a little bit, because it seems a little more darker over here. And then this one is a little bit, a little bit lighter. Like it gave it more of a gloss look to it, and then this one has that little faded look to it. Knee pads looks kind of same. Things are all the knee pads and L pads are all the same compared to the other ones. Well, no, actually, elbow pads has more of the cushion look to it. Like it sticks out a lot more. This one doesn't have that much cushion into it. Like it doesn't stick out. See the difference? See how does that look like that? Compared to this. So maybe the kneecaps are different then. Actually. Kind of looks a little bit different. Actually, this one, yeah, this one looks... Like I said, this one looks a lot more bigger and thicker. And this, this one looks a little bit smaller, like they size it down a little bit. His toes are a little bit loose. I don't know if it's supposed from the guy, whoever owned it. There are toes over here, my version, like my toy. It's kind of like a little bit tight. A little loose right there, though. Just like the other one. For some strange reason, I don't know what it is. Move his hand. Hmm. So I'm bending his kneecaps. It looks like his leg over here, the original one. Is a little bit thicker, like the muscle looks bigger because look at it. 
Look how it loops over like that, right? With the kneecaps. And his doesn't have that. I mean, I'm, I'm, you can't even move the, the knee pads. But it stays in like deeper. Less showing than this one. That's weird. Hands looks the kind of same. Elbows in the back. Elbows in the back. Let's see. Arms sort of looks the same to me. Face, like I said, the face kind of looks the same. It's just the eyes is like mostly she has more eyes over here than this one, which is kind of like that in the movie. And the back part. Oh, the back part. Let's see. It seems like this version right here has more deeper lines and everything, like the pattern. Like, like I said, like it looks deeper. This one, it doesn't look as deep. Like they mold it more than once and then it just doesn't have that deep line. Oh shit. Fuck me, run. Camera died. I don't know how long it's gonna last on this one. But, the back belt looks pretty much the same. Actually. Not quite actually, because it looks like his neck is longer on this one, so you can see like the, like half of his face like on the bottom, and this one you really can't see it. Like his head's more downward, because the shell's tor like towering a little bit more loop. See how it looks like that? And he got over here, and his neck sticks out more. I never noticed that. Hmm. The neck looks the same on the front. Remember the shell? Yeah, you could tell the shell's a little bit different on the back compared to this. Yeah, that's why I see it now. So, yeah, the shell is bigger than this one. How crazy. With the neck part, with this one, it has a more of a tighter squeeze around the neck at the ball part. I mean, you could take it off, but it's gonna, it has more of a tight squeeze to it. But since this one, you actually could take off easily and then replace the head. That's actually pretty sweet. Um, like I said, I don't know if he came with, like, uh, like a sh sewer lid or anything like that. However, here is, let's see, let's see, I'm trying to remember which one's what now. Okay. So, this one right here is the original, and this is the second part. Right over Ooh, there it is. And as you can see, the original has more of a metallic paint job. This one kind of has a metallic paint job, but it's a little bit more darker than this one. Let's see something else. Oops. In the original one, the chain is longer than part two. That's what it looks like. Yeah, it looks a little bit different. Yeah. Part two chain, they shortened down a little bit, but not much than uh, part one. Let's see, we put them down. So I put them up, equal them out. 
there. It's longer than the other one. And like I said, if you come across these, you're not too sure which one belongs. Like I said, the, the lighter color is the original. And this one, the darker color is part two. And it kind of looks like they're the same, but the nunchuck for this one looks a lot darker. This one, so the original nunchucks are darker. Part two nunchucks wood is actually lighter by an inch, really. So, there you guys have it right there. Of course, I will put down my other review of the Turtles. Because I have all four of them out of the package, the movie ones. And I guess I'll do the other ones, the Secret Ooze, later. I do have, like I said, I have Dontel and Raphael still in their package. Alright. Trying to think. Is there anything I'm missing? If I'm missing something that I, I didn't point out and you notice something, dude, feel free. Feel free to jump in. It's like, hey, you kind of missed something. Or I noticed something different you didn't mention. Do something like that. I have no problem. No problem at all. But it's kind of... Hmm. Actually... I might be seeing things wrong here. That could just be me. Uh, for some reason, why his hand looked kind of different. Probably doesn't. Uh, no, his hand looks okay. It's kind of cool. His shell looks a little bigger. But once I do have another one, I really will do a, a costume reviews to show you what I made. I have I have uh, two of them already made. So I always do those videos because I know people are requesting that as well. So give me, you know, give me a little time. You know, take it doesn't it's not easy because I want to make sure I get them complete. If I don't even have the toy, I'm on a hunt looking for it so I can review it and add it to my collection. So that is it for now. Like I said, if you see anything that I didn't mention, feel free to jump in I won't get mad or anything like that so we know we're here to help each other to know something different however I do realize something else hang on here okay so I have the leg strain out there you can see more of the loop on his kneecaps than you can see on here like they actually cover it up so you would think this would be smaller or shorter because because of that right if you look carefully, this part two is actually taller than part one. Do you see that? Like I said, I have them straight out. Like straight legs, the thighs, the feet are flat, and I have them bent the same way. Like that. See how it looks? But you can also notice by the thigh, how the thigh is more open than this one. Yeah. Yeah, so part two is actually taller than the original one. You wouldn't have the head on, like, you know, even. Looking forward, not too up, not too down. Yeah. Front shell looks the same. But yeah, there you guys have it. The differences between these guys. I thought we were going to get a part three, but I don't know about that. Alright, so that's the one I'm, I'm noticing. I'm like, wait, something doesn't seem a little bit off. So, the part two has more shell, but he's taller compared to this one. Also, by the way, the plastic's way different. Like, you can feel the difference on this one. It feels more rough, and this one it feels more smooth. You know, so I, that's why I give that one out too, if you haven't noticed that as well. So check that out as well if you own these two, or if you want to open, that's up to you. But if you have one open, check it out. I mean, like I said, the plastic's way different. All right, so that's it for now, guys. Uh, to be continued. 
like I said, if you see anything, point it out. Um, and as far as right now, that is it. And we'll do some more. And keep your eyes open for more um, DVDs or VHS turtle stuff. I, I'm also going to do some Ghostbusters as well. So, yeah. And um, there you guys have it. To be continued. Happy hunting, everyone. Laters. So I look on eBay, I forgot about this. So uh, four set, and it looks like the original one is sixty nine, so like seventy bucks plus eleven and ten dollars, or it's ten cents. Here's one for eighteen, Michelangelo. Leonardo for fifteen. Don Chell for fifteen twenty five. Come on, there should be more than that. Eighteen dollars and five dollars. For shipping, not seeing very much. Why are these even up? Maybe if I type in movie, like maybe because the 1990s are popping up. That's what I have. Um, movie. It gets me the other movie. There's some right here. The Secret of Ooze version. $81 and $2.50. This is by now to remind you. That's pretty cheap compared to some people. Shut up. Yeah, a little better. Hey, oh my god, Raph. Stop talking. You can tell what's next. Uh, for four of these ones, this is the original. $50 free shipping. Still in their package, the original one, 45 bucks. Dang, this one won 111 Still in their package. 160 plus 54 and 65 dollars for shipping Jesus man don't tell me that's it yep that is pretty much it so yeah that's what's going on out there um, I mean this one doesn't have a sewer so you should be very careful with these things like I said sometimes there's bootlegs of these including the other one as well the classic line but you can't really tell because you don't. Well, it looks kind of real. Unless it's in related. Oh my God, Raph. No, nope, maybe not. There's one over here. Dude, Raph, chill, my friend, chill. Yeah, that's pretty much that. That looks real legit, I guess. Alright, so that's why I shared that with you. Uh, keep your eyes open for more reviews coming up. And if you're into like some dark, creepy stuff, like my monster review and everything, I do have another um, channel. Combi 101 Music. I do have like my monsters and music I made and some covers from video games as well. So, come be one-on-one music, guys. Check it out. And happy hunting, everyone. Laters.